Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to be talking about a brand new Good Luck update that enhances some functionality. So let's dive in and get started. So let's launch our Good Luck application. I'm going to go over to my family section over here. And all the way at the bottom, we've got the sound assistant. You should be getting a brand new update for this. Just tap on it. It's going to take you to the store if there's an update and you just update that. So now let's talk about the feature that I'm talking about. So make sure that the sound assistant is in fact enabled. And then once you're inside here, simply go down and go into the advanced settings. You tap on it and under advanced settings, you have this option that says control music with volume keys. Now you can enable or disable this from here. Once you enable it, you can go inside and you can choose which volume key does what. So if I press the up volume key, it's going to go to the previous song. If I press that down, it's going to go to the next song or I can have it the other way. So let's take a look at how this actually works. It's not going to work in this screen. It's only designed to work in the actual lock screen. So let me quickly launch my music application over here, Samsung Music. I'm just going to play a song. OK, so the song is playing right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my actual lock screen. I'm going to double tap and you'll see that we have a little thing in the background here. Now, what I can do normally is I can tap these buttons to go to the next track or the previous track, as you can see. Now, with the volume buttons, what I can do is if I just press the volume down, obviously it's just going to lower the volume. If I press volume up, it's going to increase the volume. But what I can also do is I can press and hold and it's going to go to the previous song or I can press and hold uh, volume up and it's going to go to the next song. So now you have these buttons that control volumes and can also control next track or the previous track by long pressing on the actual button, as you can see. So in my case, if I press the up volume up, press and hold, it goes to the next song. So that's the new update for the good lock for that particular module. I will let you know that there's also an update waiting for you guys for task changer and Navstar, but it's nothing special just a couple of stability enhancements. And I do want to give a quick shout out to uh, Jar Skufi. I most likely did not say that correctly, uh, but he's the one that brought this to my attention. If you have any tips and tricks, you can also DM me on Twitter and I'll make a video and give you a quick shout out. Anyway, guys, for now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right. Have a fantastic day.